What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I have another mini PC review. The company Azul sent me another one of their products, and this one is going to be the Access Plus Fanless Mini PC Stick. So this comes in two options, one with 2GB of RAM for 140 and one with 4GB of RAM for 160 and both of those options have a 32GB hard drive. I'll put links down below on where you can buy this for yourself. So for anybody who hasn't seen one of these mini PCs before, these are basically like a streaming stick on steroids. You can do all the normal stuff like um, like Hulu and Netflix and then on top of that you basically have the power of a laptop on your TV. It turns your TV into a computer with Windows 10 and you can pretty much do anything you would do with a laptop on your TV. So while I open this up, I am going to go through some of the specifications for this. I already told you guys that it has 2GB or 4GB of RAM, 32GB of storage. There's also a micro SD card slot so you can expand it to up to 128GB of extra storage. And this has an Intel 8th generation HD graphics card for 1080p video playback. It has a Windows 10, um, is already pre-installed on it, 64-bit. And it has a quad-core Intel Atom Cherry Trail processor. So this little tiny stick has some serious power to it. That quad-core processor I mentioned has 1.44 GHz of speed and up to 1.84 GHz. And I know that's not crazy fast, but that's very fast for something this small and compact. And because you're not really going to be cluttering it with a bunch of files and applications because you're mostly just using it for streaming and messing around with on your TV, that's going to maintain some pretty good speed. And this has one USB 3.0 port, one USB 2.0 port. It has that antenna for Wi-Fi connectability so you can connect to your Wi-Fi network. And it also has an Ethernet port on the back, and it's one of the only mini PC sticks to have a built-in Ethernet port for anybody who doesn't have Wi-Fi and wants to connect directly maybe for a better connection. So this also has a headphone jack built in and it supports Bluetooth technology and because this device is so powerful and so strong it does get a little bit warm when being used and that's what that little blue warning sticker on the other side of it said. It basically just says that this device can get warm when in use and you can take off that sticker after you read it and what's included with this package is the PC stick, the instruction paper, the other little piece of paper is kind of like a little company card if you have any questions it will tell you how you can contact them and then you have the power cable and that's one thing that's important to note about this is that this device cannot run off the power of your HDMI port this does require its own power supply so you will need to have an open, um, an open wall outlet to plug into and this comes with a HDMI extension cord too. That extension cable will allow you to set this up in some tight areas where the PC stick might not be able to stick all the way out. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna set this up on my computer monitor and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I have it all set up right here and you can see the little Azul loading logo on the screen right here and now we have like a little startup thing that says hi there. And in the back here, you can see I am using that little short HDMI extension cable. And then I have the power that goes into the side of this device. And that goes into the wall outlet. You can see that little tiny dot right there. That's a little LED indicator light. And it is blue right now because the device is on. And it will be red when the device is off. And I have the antenna up to connect to the internet. And this is kind of like the same setup screen right here that you will see when you get a brand new laptop and you're setting it up and the reason that I use that HDMI extension cable is because uh, the the HDMI ports on this monitor weren't very deep so when I plugged in the PC stick it was a little bit too heavy and it was kind of leaning down a little bit under its own weight and it wasn't making a proper connection and showing up on the monitor so once I plugged in that HDMI cable that solved everything so I do think it is because my HDMI ports are a little bit shallow, they're not very deep and it wasn't supporting the weight of this PC stick. The PC stick does have some good weight to it so that is something important to note that some of you may need to use this little HDMI extender cable if it doesn't sit right in your HDMI port. Now something important that I really should have touched upon earlier is that with this you guys will, to use this effectively, really need a mouse and a keyboard. A USB mouse and a USB keyboard 
and it does the device does have those two USB slots so you can plug both of those in and I believe the Azul website has some combination USB mouse keyboards it's like a keyboard with a little mouse pad built in and it takes up one USB port but you guys will need some sort of keyboard and mouse to use this because this is basically a mini computer and you will need to navigate it the same way you would navigate a computer now I'm gonna fast forward through this whole setup process here and I'm gonna use it for maybe half an hour to an hour and I'm gonna mess around with it and check out a bunch of things and then I'm gonna get back to you guys and we're gonna talk about the review of this so I will be right back with that okay so I've been messing around with some things on here I changed the background as you guys can see this is not the default background this is one of the images that comes with the mini PC and I also downloaded Google Chrome because Chrome is much better than the standard Internet Explorer or whatever they're calling it now. And I've been trying some different applications too. And overall, I, I like this a lot. I think the the loading times are a little bit slower than what I'm used to, but they're not horrible. They're definitely usable. And you guys can see in the video how the load times are. I mean, there is some delay, but it's not crazy. And I think it's pretty good for something that you're going to be using with your TV. And I am going to go into the properties here so you guys can see all that information about the PC, although I've already stated most of this already. And that setup process, it was extremely easy. It only took me about five minutes to set up. And all you really do is enter some basic information like your name and a password if you want to add a password. And then you just select a wireless, um, a Wi-Fi network and you enter your Wi-Fi password. Super easy to set up and there was no trouble with that at all. So this thing is really pretty much plug and play. I mean there's not a whole lot of setup that goes into it and I'm gonna go into Chrome here and I'm gonna try some different websites now a lot of these websites I'm visiting you can also get as applications in Windows 10 you can get them as like little apps so like I'm on the Facebook website here but I bet you could probably get some better load times if you just downloaded like the Facebook app and you kind of just used it through the application on Windows 10 and the same thing goes with YouTube and Netflix and all of these other things you can probably just download the apps and you'd be able to navigate them a lot quicker and they'd probably have better load times but I'm going to show you guys you can go on YouTube here and you can watch in 1080p and you can go to full screen so you can use this as a streaming stick for your normal things like Netflix and Hulu and then you can go as far as going on YouTube and watching any YouTube videos you want to watch you can go on your Facebook you can check all your social media pretty much anything you can do on a laptop I was also playing some games on here, some of the Microsoft games like Spider Solitaire, and you can get Microsoft Office too and work on your documents or your homework or your work. This really, it just unlocks your TV and it's so, so much superior to your standard streaming stick. It, it adds a computer to your household. If you have a family computer and somebody's tying it up with homework or work and you need to get on the computer to either do your homework or you just want to look something up and it's something that you normally can't do on your phone you can use this you can plug this into your television and you can work on your homework on your TV you can get into Microsoft Office you can work on PowerPoints you can check your Facebook I think this just really it's a really high-tech product and it's so compact the fact that they have been able to put so much technology into this little stick is very impressive to me now there were some drawbacks for me and they're really they're really minor I mean the price was a little bit on the higher end 140 to 160 but you do have to realize you are basically getting another computer I mean that is um, lower than what you'd normally pay for a laptop so the price wasn't awful I do think that they could maybe come down like maybe 20 to 25 dollars for each model in my opinion but I don't I don't honestly know what it costs them to manufacture it so that's just my opinion on that I did have that issue where it was kind of sagging when I plugged it into my HDMI port. It wasn't really holding itself up because of its weight, so it wasn't making a proper connection. But they did include that little HDMI extension cable that solved the problem, so I guess that's not really too much of an issue. And the load times weren't like crazy fast, but they weren't too slow either, so I'm a little indifferent to that. I'm not, I'm not like outrageously mad about that but I'm not happy about it either I thought the load times were okay and overall I like this product a lot and I give it a 9 out of 10 there's really not any bad bad things I can say about this this product is very high tech it functioned very well and it's so compact and small for such a powerful little PC 
So I'll put some links down below on where you guys can buy the Azul Access Plus for yourselves. If you guys found this video helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing product reviews just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.